all right what's going on soldiers welcome back to the channel now in today's video i actually have a little bit of an interesting one i think today we are actually talking about the top three weapons that you can actually invest in and don't worry they all cost below 5,000 gold so yeah basically weapons that will carry you in all your matches that'll be consistent until you actually want to decide to buy a better busted broken weapon for example the rpd the browning yeah all of these guys man anyways hopefully you guys enjoy and uh yeah let's get right into the video boys all right so the first weapon that we actually have here is the sks prototype and this list is not in order by the way these are just yeah now the sks man from release until now it has been a consistent dominating weapon now, i don't really see too much play from it anymore i don't see a lot of people using it in matches i think that's just because they have weapons like these now but hey it's still a good weapon now it kind of does struggle when it comes to long range because you won't be doing that much damage but mid to short range man you can pretty much never go wrong with this thing and i do not actually regret upgrading it at all kind of wish i could max it out but i don't know i don't use it that much anymore but it definitely still is a good weapon and i would consider you actually getting it until you can afford the m1 garand or maybe even the mauser 98k sniper now the main thing you pretty much want to upgrade on this weapon when you get it is the rate of fire as well as the dispersion now dispersion wise it pretty much just depends on luck so even if you max this out you might not hit all of your shots but then the rate of fire is what actually kind of makes up for this basically shooting more bullets so even if you miss one you will pretty much just shoot one right after so yeah now if you actually want to see gameplay of the sks i do have a link down in the description of a video from x legionary because I actually can't make gameplay videos right now. This phone, it just lags too much. And it almost killed my phone, surprisingly. <laughs> World War Heroes. Alright, so the next weapon that we have is the Luger P08. It only costs 2,800 gold. And for that price, I'd pretty much say it's... Ah, it's definitely worth it, man. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of pistols in the game, to be honest. But this one right here, bro... It has high damage and the rate of fire is good. Dispersion wise, as it pretty much just depends on how you actually use the pistol. Because if you say it's a bad weapon, then you're just bad at using pistols, sorry to say. And yeah, it's a weapon that kind of takes skill. Now for this weapon, I would also say upgrade the fire rate as well. Simply because sometimes when you're actually shooting an enemy, they'll be moving around too much and the bullets might actually miss because of that. So you want it to be shooting as much bullets as possible. Then you can go to damage as well as dispersion. But the dispersion isn't really a problem because it's pretty accurate. Now moving on to the last weapon on our list man. We have the one and only Johnson M1941. And basically this weapon man. ah, I pretty much want to say it's the best free to play weapon overall. But then you have kind of the DP28 which dominates the most but then it's not really too consistent this one does good damage has good fire rate good dispersion as well and hits most of its shots but then with the dp28 you have the high damage as well as fire rate but then you pretty much will, won't be hitting any of your shots unless you're lucky this weapon man ah i have no regrets on buying this weapon now at first i was kind of like what the hell is this i actually made a review on it you can pretty much go find it on the channel it was so weird man it felt so just weird now at the start obviously it might not really be competitive enough but then once you start upgrading the fire rate as well as the damage and also buying some attachments too you know you'll pretty much start to see where this weapon shines. It's good at close range, it's good at mid, and it's okay, it's, okay, it's really bad at long, but the fact that you can compete against an RPD player with this thing and succeed, man, ah, this might as well just be the best free-to-play weapon in the game, man. Consistency of this weapon is just way too much. And once I actually max it out, I'll actually make a gameplay video for you guys, so don't worry about that. But anyways, boys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. 
hopefully this video helps you and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one